Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. We are at Canlis in Seattle with executive chef, my good friend Jason Franey. Chef, how are you? I'm good. It's a busy kitchen. We're getting ready for dinner service yep. tonight, but I guess we have something special you're going to show me? Yeah, we're going to show you a scallop mousseline encased in a spaghetti. One is a regular spaghetti just made with flour, and one is made with squid ink. So let's back up a little bit of scallop mousseline. It's mousseline. Basically, it's okay. a one-to-one -one, okay. um, puree with scallops and cream. What are we pouring? What is this? What am I looking okay. at again right this there? This is basically a spaghetti set with squid ink and regular pasta. Spaghetti, squid ink, so one regular is made with pasta. Flour and one is made with squid ink. Beautiful. A little, a little bit on the sides because we're going to trim that. Okay? Right. A little excess, which is delicious. Right. Put it back in the ice. You want to keep that as cold as possible. Keep it on the ice. Yeah, and this is the technique. So this is a very, uh, it's kind of a sketchy little thing here. Which you learned when you were in Havana rolling cigars, exactly. right? Exactly. Something like that. I'm actually from Florida. You're from Florida, which is great. So we're going to roll it. We're going to roll it over. You don't want too much of an overlap because then you're going to have too much pasta and not enough protein. So you get the pasta, we have the scallop puree, we're rolling up with this technique. Right. And then you want to make sure that the plastic doesn't go underneath inside right, of the Right, because then you're... Because then when you unwrap it, it's going to unravel. And, then and you get a little extra bonus exactly. taste of plastic you in your mouth, right? Done. So you're going to roll it up here, make sure you roll it up really tight, and that's what's going to hold its shape and hold its, right. hold its beautiful cylinder. Okay? And you're going to make sure all the air bubbles are out. Give it a little twist, air twist bubbles it. out. Right. And twist it up a little bit. See how that You've done together. that a few times before, I can okay. tell. That's, uh, and then we're just going to do this once again. Tie it on the ends. Right. One. Beautiful. Two. It's very important to get the air bubbles out. I was going to say, you're really pulling that tight and it stays right. it's super tight in there. It's holding everything inside real if nice. You have air bubbles trapped inside there. When you, do, when you poach it in the water, it'll float. So we're going to cook this right in this, right yes, in there. Got it. it right in the plastic. Okay, we're going to tie it on each side. Beautiful. Trim up the sides. Okay, big knife there. This one, two. Done that a few. Garbage. Yeah, done that yeah. a couple times. And this is ready to poach. We are back. It's been 20 minutes. We took the mousseline out of the sous vide. So we have okay. pasta and pasta with squid ink, right? Right, right. Chef, we're going to plate it and rock it out and show me what you got. Okay, we can't just put this on the plate. So we've, we have a garnish. Oh, we need a garnish. Okay. okay. I got so, so excited there. I jumped ahead. <laughs> so we have right here is a cauliflower puree, which we're just going to put on the bottom. We're into the purees tonight, right? Yeah. We got the mousse. Puree. So basically, we just cook this down with a little bit of white wine, okay. water, and at the end, just a little bit of cream. So we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil. Beautiful. Okay. So, so it's nice and shiny. We're going to add a touch of tomato compasse, which is just basically peeled and seeded tomatoes. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. That's just for a little bit of color. Right. Okay. And then we're going to put this on the plate very carefully. So this is the yep. hard part here. Yep, I'm watching. Okay. I'm letting you do the work. Beautiful. Make sure we get this off here. Okay. Maybe a piece of roasted cauliflower. It's going to go right in the middle. It's beautiful. Here we got the pasta with the squid ink. Yep. Then we have a squid ink sauce. Okay. So it's basically like a fish fume with a lot of vegetables, a little bit of squid ink in the end. That's what makes it so black. And then we break it with extra virgin olive It's oil. really black. We'll really see black. that on the camera. Okay. And then we're just going to put a little bit of that. It's pretty strong. I'm just going to go around the plate here. Do you ever more. spell people's names with the squid ink or anything uh, like that? Like, no. hey, what's happening? Never. Hello. <laughs> no. Okay. And then we have, right here is tomato confit. Okay. It's basically a concentrated tomato that we've cooked at a low temperature with uh, a little bit of garlic and thyme. Nice. So it cooks for a long, long period of time, concentrates the flavors, because they're okay. not in season right now. And then we're just gonna hit it with a little bit. A little garnish? Yeah, a little bit of tarragon there. Yeah. So it looks so good, I actually wanna eat it. Okay, well that's what it's for. I know, but you know, <laughs> I need a fork. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Scallop mousseline with pasta and squid ink. Here we go. It's got the explosion of the scallop and it's so creamy and so smooth and you get a nice taste of the squid ink wrapped in. It's so good, chef. Then we're gonna go for bite number two and you get all the puree and the squid ink. Yeah, I'm getting the tomato in there, the tomato, I'm trying. I need a technical degree in eating right now. Here we go. And that brings the whole thing home. You really get the tomato. I didn't even get into the roasted cauliflower. It's delicious. Chef, thank you for your time. All right. Come to Canlis in Seattle. It's one of the best restaurants on earth. You'll enjoy the food. We'll see you soon. Hey, what's happening? Never. Hello. <laughs>